Right now is the best phase of my life. That's where everything makes sense to me, is when I'm on my dirt bike. Everything makes sense. I know what to do. I know where I'm going. Everything outside of that, off the bike, is where I get lost. It's like a mess. But <laughs> I find a lot of clarity and everything's easier on my dirt bike. I first met Cole because I was sleeping in my van in front of my graphic sponsor. Got it? Yep. Yeah. And uh, he had a shop right next door that he was living in. So we were basically both like homeless gypsies. Now let's try to get that ladder in. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. And uh, I was pretty surprised, but he just hit me up. Come ride quarter pipe, start blasting this thing. We're gonna get you into X Games. Now you can just case the shit out of this. <laughs> Started hitting the quarter pipe a bunch with him, and then sure enough, I ended up getting an invite into quarter pipe, and then that turned into an invite into best whip. And uh, yeah, it kind of turned everything around for me. Best session is like when you push yourself and you do something, and then you turn around and see your buddy push himself and do something new. That's what keeps me coming back. I really like punk music, grunge, and like gothic, whatever you want to call the cure is very like, you know, gothic -y punk and just stuff that's like really real. I should know about the band, I should know like everything about it before I put that out and be like, okay, I'm gonna own that as part of me. When you make videos and you do use songs that you like, you can almost present those songs in a way to people that makes it very clear to them like, hey, this is the idea and this is what this is about to me and then it kind of can change the whole way they see a song. I can't have a full-time mechanic, so there's unfortunately sometimes I have to get in there. Um, usually people don't let me finish bike work because I'm not uh, the best at it and they worry about my life. I'll, I'll like change the suspension, do the shock and everything, and someone has to come in and double check that I tighten everything and everything's back the right way because no one wants to see me die. Past five years of my life, I've wanted to get into X Games for best whip. Yeah, it was kind of the dream situation. I got not just one invite, but two invites to X Games and doing two events. Uh, two times more opportunity to prove yourself to sponsors and the world that, you know, you're busting your ass.
2023 Ventura X Games doing best whip and quarter pipe high air. If I was invited, you know, a year or two ago, I don't think I could have handled the pressure very well. I don't think I was in a good mental place to do it. It definitely wasn't easy even this year at X Games. Like, you're looking at the quarter pipe and you're seeing dudes going 50 feet. You can't give up, you gotta keep trying. Even if you don't know if you can get there, like go into that quarter pipe harder, hit it faster. To handle that pressure and keep pushing, not giving up. Yeah, I got fifth in that event and I was bummed about it, but I definitely gave it everything I had. Like I went as fast as I could at that quarter pipe. I just wanna feel good that I'm pushing myself and, and doing the best I can do. Yeah, in the time where I wasn't riding dirt bikes and I was just doing like video work, um, I would have these reoccurring nightmares where I would go to the line at a local race and I'd look down and I wouldn't have a glove. And then I'd run back to the truck and I'd come back to the gate and then my goggles were missing. And then I wouldn't have a helmet on. It was keep going on where I had to go grab something and come back and then finally the gate was about to drop and I would just wake up. It was seriously like my subconscious like screaming at me to get back on a dirt bike. And then ever since I started riding again, never had that dream anymore. Whip went fantastic. In Whip, I got beat by uh, Tyler Bierman, who got gold. And uh, I ended up getting fourth. So getting beat by him, I'm pretty proud just to be on the same you know, playing field as that dude and Tom Parsons. Just to be in their category for me is a win, so uh, I was honored just to be there. Rookie year, I learned a lot, now I know what to expect and next year it's on. After X Games, I ended up getting invited to Nitro Circus to do the US Open uh, show on the beach, which was like a childhood dream. You start getting more opportunities and career starts going up. When you're actually riding, everyone always says like it's an escape from reality and for me it's always felt like the true reality is just when I'm riding, like I'm so present and in the moment. For me it's just all about self-expression, I don't really care if I'm better than somebody. Beating someone doesn't make me happy about myself necessarily, I want to just present my thoughts and feelings and the way I want to ride and expression. Free riding to me is like my number one, I'm a free rider. Building a jump the way you want to build it, you know, presenting yourself the way that you want to, it's being true to yourself.